to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install plugins for Sony Acid. So without further ado, let us begin. So I'm going to download and use this free vintage vocoder right here. This is from a website that I have no idea, but I've installed this already and you can go get it. So you're going to install it the same way you'd install Sony Acid or any other thing. You get a download in your downloads folder, you double click it, you accept the terms and conditions and install it to wherever you want. So after that's done, you switch to Acid. So once you're in Acid, I have this piece of music loaded up and this is how you're going to install it. So that's it with no effects. So the way you're going to want to put your effects in or plugins, so in your plugin manager this might be here and if you've gone like this but goodbye there's a way to get it back easily just go up here to view there's no need to fret just go to view and plugin manager and you get it right back so once you get in here go into configure VST there's gonna be this one here probably by default and nothing else unless you've installed anything else before so just to add and go to wherever you've installed the before your thing before and go down to it right here vintage vocoder hit OK and it's gonna say no scanned no scan it it'll say yes because it's been scanned and hit OK so now if you go into vendors right here and then there's that folder you just implemented so click on that and you got things that are inside it vintage vocoder right here so you can go up in here drop it on there and there you go you got your, th your vocoder change it to a little bit off and my vocoder works Yeah, that's what there is. That's what you got to do. And it's like that for all plugins, hopefully. All the ones you install should be just kind of like that. Just go to wherever you installed it and then import it into Sony Acid. And that's about it. I want to thank you for watching. Um, I spent about an hour trying to figure out how to do this, so I figured I'd make a video showing other people how to do it so they didn't have to suffer the way I did. So be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back for more tutorials like this and much more soon.